good morning and Merry Christmas Eve. This is Trish Cooper with Patricia Cooper Insurance and you are listening to the Parkway Pulse brought to you on IRLoneStar.com and we are with the Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce and this is our one hour show each month and I have my very good friend Travis Bryant with me today and he is with Texas Renaissance Festival and he's finally breathing again. Yes I am, yes I am. Uh, Good morning everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. Uh, Yeah, yeah it was a it was a a little bit wetter season than we've had recently but it was a it was great. We uh, uh, still managed to uh, uh, welcome over 470,000 guests over our wow. eight weekend season, um, and um, some of them just came out and played in the rain because that's yeah, what they like to do. Yeah, because it's it's fun. Yeah, we like to say that it's like uh, you know we import the uh, the uh, authentic English <laughs> weather Absolutely. as well in see, terms yeah. of see you're you're uh, all, you're right. being authentic. Exactly. So um, so Travis is here with me this morning, and we're just going to give you a little bit of information about the Magnolia Parkway Chamber and some of the stuff that we have coming up and all the fun stuff stuff that you can do um, as a part of our chamber. Uh, again, Travis is with the Texas Renaissance Festival, and they're they're one of our longtime members. Um, but our chamber is called the Chamber Without Borders. Mm-hmm. Um, we have members from all over. We have Conroe area, uh, Woodlands area, Magnolia, Montgomery, Tomball. So we have a really good group of people that comes in, and we're fun, aren't we, Travis? Uh, we're yeah, it, it's a blast. Uh, uh, you know, you never you never know who's going to drop in. At Santa dropped in at our uh, breakfast this see, last month, see? and uh, so the North Pole. We are see? we are so far without borders that even the North Pole absolutely is part of our area. Yes, and so Santa showed and uh, brought us a, a lot of fun at our Excellent. breakfast the other morning, and uh, we were all laughing so hard we hardly ate our breakfast. Um, <laughs> So uh, on this Christmas Eve, I'm sure that Santa is rather busy and getting prepared for uh, passing out his gifts to all of our very good little chamber members. Uh, yes. Hopefully they've all been not so naughty, but pretty nice. They're all on the nice list. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Merry he's here. Christmas, oh. everyone. Santa's <laughs> oh. here. A Hello, good Trish. chamber member. <laughs> Hello, Travis. Thanks for mentioning Santa. Merry Christmas. Santa. I know him. Uh. Well, I had a little time in between the Western Hemisphere and Australia. You know, it's Christmas there already, so I had uh-huh. to deliver the, the packages there. And then we have to stop off in China and pick up some more toys. Because, oh, 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 oh. you know, we have elves everywhere. <laughs> That's true, and they're always watching. So yes. we thank you for coming to breakfast the other morning, Santa. We had a blast. Oh, it was my pleasure. There's a lot of naughty and a lot of nice, but only in a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming by, and um, we hopefully all of the kids in our area will be sound asleep tonight when you come by and take care Make of Make sure they get to bed early. Leave wow. me some milk and cookies, and there's a couple of you out there. This time, turn the chimney off before you go to bed, please. Why Why are you looking at me, Santa? (laughs) Well, I know. Some people are naughty and some are nice and some are just bad. (laughs) Well, we appreciate it, Santa. All right. Merry Christmas. Get to bed early tonight. (laughs) Merry Christmas, Christmas. Santa. Thanks for coming. See you, Santa. (laughs) Please, no coal in this time. Yes. Tired of coal every Christmas. Well, as you can see, we have a good time at the chamber. And again, it's the Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce. Um, We had our breakfast on the second Mm -hmm. Tuesday of every month. We have a breakfast Um, at 730 in the morning. We meet at Eden Cafe. Um, We have a really great group of people that comes. Great food, obviously, at Eden Cafe. Mm -hmm. Uh, An opportunity for everybody to have uh, 30 seconds to give a little commercial about your business and tell us about what you can do and meet some new friends. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have a lunch on the fourth Tuesday of every month, don't we, Travis? Yes, we do have a lunch uh, at, at the uh, Grace Point Fellowship, which is located uh, on 1488, uh, kind of, uh, actually it's on Corporate Drive, I think. You go down 1488, mm-hmm. turn right on Corporate Drive right there at the uh, self-storage. And uh, it's also, it's a great time. We usually um, have some great presenters, some great speakers that'll come in every once in a while. Uh, we do a speed networking there, which gives you a chance to kind of move around the tables and meet a whole lot of people in a mm-hmm. short short period of time tell them what you do and uh, um, uh, spread the good news about what your business is and the services that you provide to the community uh, so yeah that's a great place to, to come out and um, and enjoy some good food and enjoy some good company 
absolutely. And this breakfast that we have uh, in January, we'll be installing our new board members. That's right. Travis is on the board um, with the chamber as well as I am, and we have uh, new board members that mm-hmm. are coming on. Um, one of our guests that's going to be on the show today is Candy Emmerich. She's going to be our new chair yes. um, of the board, and she'll be there. And so we'll be installing new board members um, at that breakfast. Uh, yeah. Another cool thing is that during um, during the year, we've been having really successful lunch and learns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of great information that, that we've had. Um, this last year, we had one that involved all of the schools when we mm-hmm. had Lone Star College. Um, we had Magnolia ISD and um, some of the private schools mm-hmm. and gave us a lot of really good information mm-hmm. um, about the schools. We've done um, marketing. Yes, we did a marketing seminar, marketing and public relations. So uh, those are a great opportunity to uh, uh, to learn some things that will either inform you more about what's going on in the community or more about things that can help you in your business and to do your business better and more effectively. And uh, those, as you said, happen every quarter. And Mm -hmm. uh, you can find out more information about that on our website, which is magnoliaparkwaycc.org. So magnoliaparkwaycc.org. And then there's also the Pub and Grub. Yes, tailgaters. Yes. I love that. Yes. Tailgaters there on 1488, right in the uh-huh. where the Home it's, Depot is next to the Eden Cafe. Uh-huh. Last Wednesday of every month um, from 530 mm-hmm. to 7. Mm-hmm. Um, again, another different group of people that gets together. Um, we have appetizers, uh, great time, uh, great yeah. networking mm-hmm. opportunity with another, yet another group of people that you can, can work with. And that's the fun thing about our chamber is that we have, we do networking right. Yes. <laughs> um, we enjoy it. It and uh, we everybody understands the benefits of networking and, and learning about what's going on in our community. Um, that's the cool thing that I have enjoyed um, about being on the board is that we have become more involved in the community and the things going on and making sure that all of our members and anybody that's interested that's new to the area can mm-hmm. come to our chamber and know what's going on in the community and you know anything from yeah. roads to elections to um the school systems to the new businesses and find out the information that they need and and it's really cool that we're becoming that resource Um, yeah montgomery county is such a fast growing area and there's you know every time you turn around it seems like there's something new coming in um and something new going on and some uh some new growth happening and sometimes it's uh, it's hard to find uh uh, good resources to really kind of keep you informed on everything that's going on and the parkway chamber is an excellent resource for that absolutely so again Um, If you would like to find out some more information about the chamber, things that you can do to become involved, we love to have new members. We're growing Mm -hmm. constantly, and if you can find out about our membership, just go to our website. It is uh, www.magnoliaparkwaycc.org. Um, you can sign up and, and join as a member mm-hmm. uh, on that website. Uh, it'll give you the phone number to call. Uh, Kelly Haman is our president and um, fearless leader. Yes. And we love her to death. She does an amazing job mm-hmm. of representing our chamber and has brought us so far mm-hmm. uh, in growing and becoming uh, that place to be for information uh, for people in, in our area. So I think it's a great New Year's resolution that if you haven't joined the chamber, that you do it. And if you are a member of the chamber, that you look for be- other more uh, ways to get deeper and deep, more deeply involved in what's going on. Absolutely. And, uh, avail yourself of all of the different uh, things. You know, we have a, uh, we have email blasts that go out. They'll keep mm-hmm. you informed on everything. Uh, uh, the chamber website is a wealth of information. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh We're going to be starting up this year, too, with the beginning of the year. um, All of our committee chairs are going to be looking for Mm -hmm. uh, members of short-term task forces where you can just do very limited time and effort needed to help us on a small task force or to get involved in in a committee uh, and and participate and get your name and your presence out there to other chamber members and into the community. So, again, anytime you need some information about the chamber, it's a Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce, and we're at the magnoliaparkwaycc.org. And you are listening to the Parkway Pulse with Travis Bryant and Trish Cooper. And we're going to take a short break, come back with our first guest. Um, So turn your turkey, baste it a little, and uh, we'll be right back.
SPCA Pet Snap of Montgomery County is a 501c3 all volunteer based rescue and adoption organization with a no kill policy for healthy and adoptable animals. Our name states what we believe Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. People eliminate the suffering. Spay, neuter, adopt, please. We rescue abandoned, abused, or homeless animals do whatever is needed to make them healthy and happy, and then we find them loving forever homes. We envision a county where every companion animal finds a permanent and compassionate home, where communities are enriched by the special bond between people and animals, where cruelty no longer exists, and where every home practices responsible pet ownership. You can contact us at www.spcaofmc.com. The SPCA Pet Snap of Montgomery County encourages you to think adoption first. I'm Lieutenant Bob Berry with the Conroe Police Department, reminding you that drinking and driving do not mix. Drinking and driving causes an alcohol-related fatality every hour in the United States. Stay sober and stay alive. Did you know there are more than 790 abused and neglected children currently in foster care in Montgomery County? Will you help make a difference? I'm Allie Stevens with Costa Child Advocates of Montgomery County. We train and support volunteers to be the voice of children in the foster care system. Kids are moved from their home because of abuse and neglect and we need volunteers just like you to advocate for these children. To learn more about becoming an advocate, please visit costaspeaksforkids.com. That's costaspeaksforkids.com. And welcome back. Uh, this is the Parkway Pulse brought to you by the Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber Without Borders. I'm Travis Bryant with the Texas Renaissance Festival here on this uh, beautiful Christmas Eve. And uh, we're uh, here with um, some special guests. First of all, Trish Cooper is back with me, our hostess with the mostest. <laughs> and uh, Trish, why don't you tell them about who we've got in the studio right now? Awesome. We have um, guests that we've had before that have been extremely informative. Um, the last time they were on the show they told us about uh, their website and some wonderful information on there and I got back to my office and all the ladies were going yeah we were listening and we're all on their website so good job it good. worked good. Um, we have Lori Klein with Klein Wealth Management mm -hmm. as well as Judy Bodie um, they're both with Klein Wealth Management have been providing us with some amazing information um, regarding uh, everything from tax planning to financial planning to um, is strategies and things for young families to people ready for retirement so again we have them back mm -hmm. welcome Lori how are yeah. you thank you thank you uh, we're doing great we're and, doing great and Merry Christmas so, Eve I know <laughs> it's, and so yeah that's what we're going to talk about Trish is we're going to talk about financial Christmas gifts you can give yourself oh, oh I like perfect. those and we money for Christmas last week on the 17th we got a congressional Christmas gift called The Path, which is Protecting Americans Against Tax Hike. Hmm. I'm liking that phrasing, yes. Congress joint, they passed the bill, and uh, it brought back a lot of the things on a permanent basis that we had talked about on Thanksgiving uh -huh. and expanded it from letting te excuse me, teachers um, deduct $250 and be able to have a lot of the tax things we talked about permanent mm. all the way to expanding our trade that possibly we'd be able to sell our oil overseas, which will awesome. help our economy. Oh, be, so it's called PATH. It was hmm. it was passed on the 17th. So awesome. that was our congressional Christmas gift. Uh -huh. So making it permanent instead of taking it away every year. Well, y'all so. can all ask my husband. Money for Christmas is a wonderful thing <laughs> that, that I'm always, always receptive to. <laughs> you know, is. not a problem. So yeah. Yeah, we uh, tweeted that out, and we also put it on our Facebook. So again, like us on Facebook. Go to our website, Klein Wealth Management, MGMT. Uh, we can spell it, but it's easier to abbreviate. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because I can't spell com. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we have it posted there, so just a wealth of free information there. Um, and we also send it out in a tweet. 
So that was uh-huh. good. And LinkedIn. So y'all got it all covered. Well, uh, you can like us on Facebook too. We have all kinds mm-hmm. of special Facebook little page. okay, um, mm-hmm. excellent inspirational yeah. things and okay. informative things. And it's just Klein Wealth Management. That's right. On Facebook. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Right. But we also wanted to talk about other financial gifts, and one okay. of them is tax harvesting. This is the time of year you have a few more days. Mm-hmm that with the drop in oil and some of the investments plus the capital gains that have been coming from some of the investments Mm -hmm. that you have a large capital gain and if you would sell something at a loss to help offset that gain Mm -hmm. then wait 30 days and buy back in it's a Mm win-win you're back into the into the position uh, because oil is down right now Mm -hmm. right and we do think, you know, going back into it is a prudent thing, but you have to wait 30 days because of wash sale rules. Mm. So it's called tax hard. How do we offset them and then turn around? We're going to buy back in in January to put them back in the same position. So okay. that's a gift you can give yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that and charitable contributions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you can make a distribution from your IRA if you're over 70 and a half straight to charity. Hmm. Okay. And that reduces the amount that goes on your income tax. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So that is back in plus uh, making your charitable contributions cash and non-cash by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. If it's non-cash by the end of the year, be sure and do the list. Go through. You can't just put two bags of stuff on your receipt. (laughs) You have to put... (laughs) 12 now, shirts. Now, how did you, have you shoes. been looking at my receipts, <laughs> <laughs> Lori? <laughs> Two bags of stuff. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Even if you have one from <laughs> Team or Nate. Right. <laughs> You can't put that on there. So uh, go ahead and look at your charitable contributions. And then if you are over 70 and a half, another thing you need to check on besides giving uh, charitable contributions out of your IRA is to make sure you are doing a distribution. If you are 70 and a half, Mm. you have to do a required minimum distribution. The IRS doesn't let you keep all of your retirement plans deferred forever. Mm. They actually have a table. You have to calculate the amount and pull it by the end of the year. If you miss it, it's a 50% penalty. Wow. Oh so if you're supposed to pull out 10000 and you pulled out five, you you're going to owe 2500 to the government of mm. your own money the next when you file your taxes. So please don't miss that. Check that if you're over 70 and a half. Definitely. So. And if somebody needs advice or needs that information again, um, you guys are more than happy to discuss that. If, if they call your office, they can make an appointment with one of your advisors and absolutely right. sit down and, and discuss and make sure that they're aware of all of the requirements and everything so that they don't wait until it's too late. Yes, we're a CPA and mm-hmm. financial planning firm. We're mm-hmm. life planners. We're CFPs and CPAs uh, that really can guide you and your future on anything that affects your money so give us a call we don't charge for the first hour of a new client appointment because we want to make sure that we can help and they are right fit for you Absolutely. so we're life planners uh, awesome. the other thing i wanted to kind of mention is you know uh, last time they did not have the chair the mileage rates it was 57 and a half mm-hmm. for 2015 mm-hmm. they did release them it's 54 cents they went down so for 2016 your mileage rate for business is 54 cents so all of you have your expense reports out there calculate that in so (laughs) they did not change much of the other retirement plan limits those were all the same as last year's Mm -hmm. they were in 2015 so okay all um, right um, so um again um you know this is um the important thing is, and, and we've discussed each time that you've been here, is you guys are such a wealth of information. Mm-hmm. Your website is an amazing wealth of information mm-hmm. on uh, things that you need to be aware of for each type of need, uh, whether you're a young person starting a family or whether you are uh, approaching retirement and wanting to know that. But the important thing is that if you have a question, if you're not sure, call, make yeah. an appointment, sit down and talk with one of the advisors there. Mm-hmm. Um, and and get the information that you need and and like Lori said it's finding that right fit 
Um, you have to be comfortable with your advisor mm-hmm. because you're putting trust in them and, and you're, you need to be able to provide them with all of the information that they need to make help you make the best decisions possible so that your retirement or whatever it is you're trying to do is the most comfortable and the best advantage for you. Right. You know, our goal is the achievement of your goal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and investments are just a tool that can be used to achieve your goal. Sometimes the goal is let's pay off a credit card. <laughs> and this is, yeah, this is one of those New Year's resolutions that it's good to start before New Year's. You mm-hmm. know, you know, if you if you jump start on it and get a, get working on it right now, before uh, January first, then there you know you can take advantage of things in the present and then be working towards the future as well. So mm-hmm. thanks for all those good ta- tax tips. That was excellent. Right. Okay. Um, there's some age ages are important. I know I wanted to kind of go over. Mm-hmm. If you turn 65 this year, you're eligible for Medicare. If you turn 62, you're eligible for Social Security, even though it's going to be at a reduced 25% if mm-hmm. you take it at 62. Uh, 59 and a half, you can take IRA distributions without a penalty. If you're 55, then you should be able to take some distributions from your 401k called in-service distributions. Mm-hmm. And taking from your 401k, you can help to diversify out a little bit more than what is offered Mm. in your 401k and they're called in-service distributions we've had a lot of people do that to help pull out and guarantee things in this volatile in this Mm. volatile market definitely Um, and if you're 50 you can do catch-up contributions on your ira and you can turn 50 on 12 31 15 and still do the catch-up contributions for 15 your wow. 401k or your IRA or your simple plan or mm. SEP or whatever you're mm-hmm. using. Um, if you're using the can in the backyard, then put a little extra money in the can. <laughs> in the whatever you're using. Right. <laughs> Please put away. Flexibility so is important flexibility to Flexibility is management. important. <laughs> <laughs> the key is need to save <laughs> for retirement. <laughs> so, but those are the things that on um, ages, mm-hmm. you know, ages are when you hit those key ages you need to also look at your finances and see if there's some changes yeah i had one of those key ages this year so oh. and we're not discussing no, which we're one not that discussing is which one. <laughs> no. but but i'm amazed absolutely. i'm amazed at how many people out there uh, knew it because i got all kinds of different mail <laughs> It's amazing what happens when you have a zero behind it. Exactly, your yes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, again, you've been listening to the Parkway Pulse on IRLoneStar.com. And um, this is uh, Lori Klein and Judy Bodie with Klein Wealth Management. We're going to step out for yep. one more minute here, give everybody a chance to go baste your turkey or whatever. Grab some eggnog. Grab some eggnog. That's a good thing. It's, it's early in the morning, That's but we right. won't say anything. So but it's Christmas we'll be Eve. back in just a minute. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank Thank you. you. Doing business since 1985, Assistance League of Montgomery County is a nonprofit, all volunteer organization where all proceeds stay in Montgomery County. We are proud to sponsor 10 philanthropic programs that enhance the lives of those in our community. Visit our thrift shop at 126 North San Jacinto Street in downtown Conroe or call us at 936 760 1151. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Howdy y'all, Wayne Michaels reminding you that on Tuesday, December 1st, Cadence Hope Foundation is taking over the internet at 7 p.m. right here on IRLoneStar.com for the second annual Cadence Hope Internet Radio Telethon. Montgomery County country music artists are joining together to perform in support of parents with a premature infant. Michael Player, Kenna Danielle, Maddie Dean, Jared Sterrett, Amber Adams and Undercover will all be live in the studio to raise awareness and much-needed funds to assist parents whose premature infant is hospitalized in the neonatal intensive care unit. So join Cadence Hope as we take over the Internet live Tuesday, December 1st at 7 p.m. to help NICU parents on IRLoneStar.com. Have a legal question? Are you a resident of Montgomery County? Call 281-645-6344 to talk to a volunteer attorney from the Woodlands Bar Association. We answer the phones on the first Monday of every month at 281-645-6344 from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. 
to provide general legal information and information about legal resources to Montgomery County residents. And we are back. This is Trish Cooper with Patricia Cooper Insurance, and I am here with my co-host and partner in crime, Travis Bryant with the Texas Renaissance Festival. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. Merry Christmas Eve. And we are having a great show, having a great time yes, today. We are. And even though it's a holiday, and we have our next guest today on the Parkway Pulse. They are with First Financial Bank, and it is our chair person of the board for the Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Candy Emmerich. Hello, New chair. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank Yay. you. Not official yet. It'll, no. it'll be, be January 1st. first. Yes. I'm excited. Yes. It'll Absolutely. Be a great year. So welcome. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. Glad to be here. And you brought a friend with you. I brought my partner in crime, Craig Parker. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Craig. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Craig is vice president and commercial lender with First Financial Bank. Um, he's been the, with the bank since 2008, mm -hmm. and he is officed at the 1488 location. Yes, Beautiful offices that they have there. And um, you wanted to make sure that we acknowledge your beautiful wife, Jamie. Yes. And your son, Wiley. That's right. Because Wiley is important. This is like a favorite day for him, <laughs> no, huh? It Christmas really is. Eve, yeah, he's all ready yeah. to go. Santa's been here. It's very all a good excited. thing. Wiley's yeah. been a good boy this year. He has. He yeah. made the good list. All right. Barely. See, so, barely. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> so, Wiley, Santa was here. We put in a good word for you, okay? So, it's all cool. <laughs> He'll be pleased. Yeah, he will exactly. Be. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so welcome, Kenny and Craig. Um, and um, you've got some information. I know that we had um, not too long ago uh, some changes going on that yes. I hopefully we'll be talking a little bit about. So, um, again, just a little bit of information other than being the chair elect for the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce. Candy is a vice president and commercial lender um, with First Financial. She's been with the bank since 2007, and she is also at the 1488 location. And I've met her husband, Stan, and he's awesome, most definitely. He puts up with me. <laughs> he's go. a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome tell us about what's Thank going you. on well uh as you mentioned we merged with first financial bank um uh, back in august and uh we are we are pleased uh, with the transition uh as with any merger there's a little bit of growing pains but uh we are pleased to be affiliated with uh, first financial they like us are a community bank and uh, believe in giving back to the community They've been in business for 125 years. Wow. wow. Abilene. Yes, Abilene's where the headquarters are. Mm. Uh, they were them named number two bank in the nation for 2015 by Bank Director Magazine. Wow. Uh, they rate banks annually and uh, proud that First Financial's been on that list numerous times. So right now we have mm. about 70 branches across the state. Uh, most recently, our branch area in Conroe consolidated with the Huntsville region. Okay. And so with that um, consolidation, we now have about 10 locations in Montgomery County. We go into Walker County, and we have one in Harris County down at Creekside. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So you guys have grown considerably uh, then. We grew overnight. <laughs> we wow. did. But the great thing about it, we are still a community bank. Uh, the bankers like Craig and myself, we still do the same thing. We're out in the community. We're trying to give back to the community through service as well as through uh, making loans, mm -hmm. uh, taking in deposits from our customers that we turn around and loan out in the community. So we're a big player as far as Montgomery County Fair. Uh, we we participate in all, all the local events with our firefighters. Mm -hmm. um, we finance fire stations. We're, we're, we're doing a little bit of everything out here, and that's what makes us proud. Absolutely. I know that First Financial has, has been uh, a big supporter of the Magnolia Parkway Chamber. Mm -hmm. um, you're a platinum member. Yes, we um, are. Very excited to have that, and uh, always one of the first ones to step up when, mm -hmm. when we need sponsorships and, and things for all of our events that we always know that, that you guys step up. Um, from the very beginning and, and anything that needs to be done. Um, I know that you've done the, the leadership Montgomery County and, yes. and all of the wonderful stuff that comes along with that in, in representing First Financial um, and being a part of that for the chamber as yes. well. Yes, um, That's one of the cool things that, that you've gotten to participate in as well. 
yes, I have. I'm, I've been very pleased and honored to be able to do that. And uh, we've had a lot of graduates through our bank that have come through leadership mm -hmm. Montgomery County. And uh, it, it's and we have a great alumni club as, as a result of that. So uh, we're very pleased to have done all those things. All right. So Craig. Yeah, I, I think the main thing that I wanted to be sure we talk about today is we keep getting asked the same questions. Candy and I keep getting asked the same things from our customers, and that's, well, are you still going to be my banker? Hmm. And that's a big that's a big concern for folks because they've mm -hmm. been with us so long. I mean, this bank's been around 30 years here in Montgomery County area. Right. Yeah. We've had two presidents in that time, only two. Mm. We had Dan Dominey, and now we have Sam Baker. And so, folks walk in the door. They say, "Candy, are you still going to be my banker? Craig, are you still going to be my banker?" Absolutely. And um, the the answer is yes. I mean, our boss is still Sam Baker. He's mm -hmm. still in the same office he's always mm -hmm. been in. He's still looking to make the same loans we've always made. Um, we're still there serving the same folks we've always served. Mm -hmm. um, there's all these changes that have come down the pipeline because we've we've grown into this bigger bank now. Um, instead of a 30-year history, we've got a 125-year history. But we're not ch cutting what we do. We're adding to it. Mm -hmm. And so the answer is not just yes, but yes and more. Yes plus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes plus. And so it's been, it's been really exciting to go to my customers um, – you walk up and you say, hey, I know I've been talking to you about this deposit account or, or this home loan, but in addition to that, can I show you how to take a picture of your bill with your phone <laughs> and pay it without ever mailing anything or without or get online and manage everything in, in a two-minute process? Wow. Um, it's yeah. been it's phenomenal to see what we can offer our folks now that we are a bigger institution. Awesome. So you've expanded the resources without losing the personal touch. Absolutely. Because right? exactly. I know when I hear community bank, I can tend to think of, you know, t since it's Christmas time, you, you think of that George Bailey kind of aspect mm -hmm. of the it. It's a yep. wonderful life. You know, right. that, 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 that uh, person that you walk in that really, really knows what's going on in your life and really cares about, you know, what's been going on. And to be able to have that kind of a history with your, with your clients, I know, is probably a, a great thing both for you and for them. Um, but also to have the resources of, of, a, of a large institution that can, uh, uh, that unlike George Bailey, is, right. is not <laughs> making sure that they make that last deposit on Christmas Eve well, before yeah. Mr. Potter comes in and closes things down. So. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's really been what we've always been about. We're about serving our customers first. And now we have a, a larger product line to serve them. And so I like to tell people that we're bankers in full now. We're mm -hmm. not just a commercial lender. We're not just a depository institution. And we've got wealth management. We've got all these technology services. I mean, mm -hmm. You can bank with us and never actually have to drive to a branch. You can do everything from right where you are. And it's phenomenal that we can do that now mm -hmm. because we're a bigger institution. And and that's the thing with the millennials now, you know, the, the, the younger generation, um, that's the thing that my industry has had to adapt to as well is the ability for them to use their smartphone absolutely um, and to take care of their everyday business where they're at mm -hmm. instead of having to come in but you still have that ability to come in when you have a question and know that you have an individual that knows you knows your business um, and knows what you need that you can walk in and they say hey and they know your name absolutely. and that's important and that's really, that's what we do. We know our folks. Mm -hmm. and, and the way we know them is because we're so actively involved in our community. Mm -hmm. It's not that we sit behind a desk in staunch suits all day. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually out there participating, like Candy, being involved in the Parkway Chamber the way you are. I mean, that's great. You're actually shaking hands with folks in the community all the time. Um, we're involved in these organizations. I mean, we, uh, uh, we talked about leadership in Montgomery County, and that's a huge one that we're involved in. We've got uh, Montgomery County Youth Services, which my mm -hmm. beautiful bride happens to, to work with. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and uh, we're a big partner with them. We do a lot in the community with them. Okay. Um, trying to give back to the area and, and getting to know folks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that hasn't changed with this new bank. That, that's that's one of the things that's been asked. We get calls, hey, are you going to still give to this? Are you still going to come to this? Well, of course we are. That's who we are. Mm -hmm. And although the signs changed and although the name changed, who we are hasn't changed at all. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I, I do know that, you know, the community involvement is, is something that, that we see uh, from, from your group uh, on a regular basis uh, through the chamber. And um, 
and the support that you've provided to the Magnolia Parkway Chamber. Uh, and we really appreciate that. And, and we're glad to know mm-hmm. that, that the same uh, face and, and support will be there constantly because we do love candy and, and oh, we, well, we want candy to stay with <laughs> us. I have a question, Candy, though. <laughs> yes. Swipe a truck? Swipe what? a truck. Okay. I, because that really sounds like something that would get you coal. But um, I, what is you it? You know, I could. Well, <laughs> um, it's a new program we're going to be rolling out. And uh, you'll be you'll be seeing our advertising about this. But what it means is we're going to be giving away a truck. Woo-hoo. So if you have a, Me, debit, if you have a <laughs> debit card with First Financial, if you don't, then here's your, your signal to go get one quick. Uh, between now and March 31st, every time you swipe your debit card or ATM card, either or, or both, you're going to be automatically entered in a drawing to uh, win a truck. And the truck hey. is, uh, I was going to say, it's its from Buckaloo Chevrolet. Uh, it's in the process of being wrapped. So you'll start seeing it around town and at our different branches. Uh-huh. We're going to have it sitting out front. So you can you can stop and, and take a look um, close and personal and picture yourself driving that truck. So uh, please come in any of our yeah. branches, and uh, the sooner you get going and swiping, the yeah. the better your chance. Excellent. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, Buckaloo is, yeah. is another member of the chamber, so yes, we're, we're happy to have that support there and, yeah. and uh, be able to, to uh, acknowledge their, their participation as well. So yeah. that's great. Um, so we are at the end of our segment here, and we've really enjoyed talking to you guys. Thank you so uh, thank much you for coming, coming in. Thank Thanks you for having, having us. us. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Yes. Uh, hopefully Santa uh, takes care of everyone. Yeah. You're listening to the Parkway Pulse, uh, the Magnolia Parkway Chamber of Commerce, and we're going to step out for just one more second, and we'll be right back. At Jazzy Junk, volunteers reclaim, restore, and recycle. Jazzy Junk is a non-profit resale storefront where you will discover wonderful, unique finds at very affordable prices on furniture, antiques, books, art, home decor, and more. When you shop Jazzy Junk, you support New Danville, a community for adults with developmental disabilities. We receive new donations daily, so plan a visit to Jazzy Junk today to find that perfect item or gift. Our model is here today gone today so remember to hurry in and shop often for the best selection jazzy junk is located in the outlets at conroe on league line road and i-45 north call 936-441-4500 or visit our website jazzyjunk.org that's j-u-n-q-u-e for more information and store hours Heaven's Army of Resources and Recreation Center is a 501c3 nonprofit organization featuring a 10,000 square foot building located at 19325 FM 1485 West, New Caney, Texas. At Heaven's Army, we offer over 26 different services free for all ages, from karate, dance, drug and alcohol classes, anger management, parenting, food and clothing pantries, to just name a few. We are supported solely by volunteers and private donations. Our main mission is to glorify God in all that we do. At Heaven's Army, we strive to be a hand up, not a hand out. Come check us out at 19325 FM 1485 West, New Caney, Texas, or call for more information at 281-689-5864. You may also learn more about Heaven's Army by visiting our website at heavensarmyofresources.com. The Conroe YMCA's benchmark adaptive programming for kids and adults is Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith is an equine assisted therapy program serving children and adults with adaptive needs. The riders in our Leap of Faith program are working to address and manage specific aspects of their lives impacted by illness, injury, or disability. The Leap of Faith program has experience working with riders who are living with attention deficit or other hyperactivity disorders, hearing impairments, visual impairments, developmental delays or disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, head traumas, brain injuries, and paralysis. Our program uses horseback riding to develop self-confidence and self-esteem, 
to increase upper and lower body strength, assist in respiratory issues, and establish a trusting relationship between the rider and their horse. Not only do these activities aid in the physical and mental development of the rider, they also foster self-reliance and independence. For more information regarding our program, to become a rider or to volunteer with a great group of people, please call our Welcome Center at 936-441-9622 or visit our website at www.ymcahouston.org slash Conrad. Welcome back to the Parkway Pulse. We're uh, back on uh, Christmas Eve, getting ready. I can't wait. I always love Christmas <laughs> Eve. Santa's coming. Yeah, Santa's Santa's coming. coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got uh, and uh, uh, so we're back, and our guest in this segment is Vinny Sinisi with Sinisi Real Estate. How do I remember that name? Team Sin- Sinisi Real Estate. Team Sinisi it's Real Estate. Sinisi name to remember. Absolutely. Hey, yeah. So. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. You know, Christmas Eve is awesome. Have you seen the commercial with the uh, where the adults are playing the kids and the kids yeah. are playing the adults? Is <laughs> yeah. that the me. best yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is that? She says, "I'll make the cocoa." Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's me. That's me. So. Well, awesome. Thanks for having us in. Um, we enjoy doing the show, and um, things have changed since a couple months ago when I was in. Uh, yeah, the not market's too long gone ago. through a little bit of a shift, yeah. has it? Yeah. So uh, the November numbers just came out, uh-huh. and from this time last year, um, the sales are down, hmm. pending sales are down, the um, months of inventory is up, which is really a negative number. Mm-hmm. Although we still beat the national average by. A month hmm. or well let's see we're at 4.8 for the national average and we're at 3.4 so okay. yeah so it's about a month and a half so and um, that means that that monthly inventory number means that if you're at about six months then you can have a buyer's market and a seller's market that's like the middle point mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if you're less than that then you're still in a seller's market so that's where we've been for the last three years we're at 3.4 uh, percent up from or 3.4 months of inventory up from 2.7 months this time in November last, last year. year. Wow. And that's good. I yeah. mean, we're still in a seller's market. It's just that last year we were up like 18% in in uh, sales price. This year we're going to be, probably be up by 7 or 8%. Mm. And I've been here since 1980. And we average 4 or 5%. So we're still in a great market. Yeah. This Absolutely. Is, I read some numbers the other day that said that Houston is the fastest growing city in America. 668,000 jobs. Mm-hmm people i'm sorry over the last 10 years no and the number two you know what the number two city is what austin texas Mm -hmm. yep Yep. you said something about montgomery county earlier travis montgomery county is uh, like in the top three of the fastest growing counties in america America. yeah Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. it's booming you know we go to these christmas parties and people are talking about oh i remember i moved here in 95 and i moved in 91 when did you move here vanessa 1980. (laughs) What? 1980? I said, yeah, there were 8,000 people in the woodlands. Right. There was no traffic light from the Woodlands Parkway to West Panther Creek where it ended. Uh Uh-huh. And the first week, I bought a brand new Ryland home. The first week I drove home, I got lost like three out of the five days. (laughs) And there were like five restaurants. I know it's five. No, three. I was like, I know it's around here somewhere right by this pine tree. (laughs) There's only 1,400 million of those. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, things have changed a lot, um, although it's still good. I mean, the Woodlands is full. Um, we're doing the show, obviously, from, from Conroe, and Conroe used to be like 30,000 people mm-hmm. back in the 80s. Now it's huge. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything mm-hmm. is just commingled together. Yeah. Uh, Johnson Development right down the street here at the old uh, Strake um, Boy Scout camp. That's going to yeah. be fun. Right. That thing is going to be unbelievable next year Mm -hmm. and um, so there's all sorts of places growing up and popping up and lots going out 1488 and you know in our area where the chamber covers yep you know it's gonna it's not gonna be too long before you know what people call traditional magnolia Mm -hmm. and then then the magnolia that's closer to the woodlands that that's east magnolia and west magnolia that's gonna be all one big connected 
force yeah, at some point. And, and so, you know, that's the cool thing about the chamber is that we're positioned to be right in, in the middle of this and, and all of that, because it's not going to be long before all of that is connected with the commercial development that's going on. Tremendous growth west of the high school, mm -hmm. Magnolia High School, and tremendous growth north of Conroe going up into Willis Absolutely. now, mm -hmm. and then uh, the corridor at uh, Oak Ridge, you know, right Rayford Road, mm -hmm. back yep. in there. There's going to be another high school there in another yes. year. Uh -huh. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, I mean, Oak Ridge used to be the floor mat that all the teams were like, oh, we're playing Oak Ridge tonight. We're going to beat <laughs> right. them. Now they won the, they won the baseball yeah. district last year. Uh, they were in the final four of girls' volleyball this year. So, I mean, they're softball, well, both, their softball their team softball is, is, always is good. awesome. Yep. I've got yep. uh, some friends of my daughter play both for them. Both the Magnolia football teams were that we made it to the playoffs I this know. year. I you know, yes. That's so right. It's, it's now, here's some, here's some interesting news. And I, I said this to a few of my clients last week about the rate hike. And it just so happens that the feds just raised the yes. rates that have been stagnant for seven years. I know. They raised them a quarter of a point, 25 basis points for all you old timers. And that means if you are buying a house and it's, let's say it's a half a million dollar house, that's another $70 a month pretty much mm -hmm. in your payment. Plus you, it's harder to qualify because you have to be able to meet that payment. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and they are threatening to raise it three more times in 2016. Mm. So if you're thinking wow. about selling your house, Every time, every day is a good day. Uh, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, there's never been a bad market in the 35 years I've been in, mm. in this area. Mm -hmm. It's just that, um, you know, you have some equity if you own your house for the last three or four years, because we've had some great years. Mm -hmm. You usually have to wait five or six years to mm -hmm. do that. And so now there's a chance for you to go out there and make a little money. And mm. if you want to downsize a lot right. of people... Our age, Trish. <laughs> our, I'm sorry, Travis. You're a lot older than us. So yeah. Travis, yeah, I mean, he it's, told it's, us about his yeah. his anniversary into whatever yeah, 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 group yeah. he may well, qualify right. for now. See, people our age, Trish, we can still move. Travis's age, he can't even move. No. I mean, that's, <laughs> I know. It's like, he has to have help moving. I'm just kidding. There's, 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 there's two nice. more. There's be two nice. more he may not come back. <laughs> be nice. His daughter, not my daughter, yeah. were in the same drama class right, in exactly, high school. Yeah, so. So. Anyway, so. yeah, it's um, it's good news bad news the the market's moving a little bit because the fed thinks the economy is doing really well that's good mm -hmm. news mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand you know we have obviously everyone knows about the oil the yeah. energy business around here but if you look we've got three new hospitals going right. in absolutely and in addition to that those people all need rooftops they mm -hmm. all need some place to mm -hmm. live and then all the other businesses that pop up around right. there they need they well, need places is, to live too we're, you know we're we're, we're we're fortunate that we're very diverse in terms of the industries and, the, and the types yes. of uh, of companies that are, that are here. So we're not just dependent. You know, the the Houston, the Greater Houston area of of the of 2015, 2016 is not the one of the 80s when you know everybody gets kind of nervous when they remember that big bust cycle back yeah. in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're so much more diverse. You know, and. Uh, um, you know, medicine, medicine is huge in this area. And so you talk about those three hospitals that are going in and, mm -hmm. and, and, and finance and all of these other things mm -hmm. that, uh, manufacturing and, I was going to say so. the manufacturing, uh, mm -hmm. opportunities, uh, the companies that are coming mm -hmm. out here and, and putting in large facilities. Well, um, and the expansion with the Lone Star Airport up here. Absolutely. The regional, the regional yeah. hub and the things that are going on there mm -hmm. will bring more, more people in too. So, yeah, well, so. well, you know, we're the, we're the chamber of commerce mm -hmm. and commerce is the key word there. Mm -hmm. We want commerce. That's what drives the right. housing market. That's what drives everything. And mm -hmm. Walmart's not going to put a Walmart in unless they have the demographics right. to support it. So right. mm -hmm. that's a, a very good thing. Now I heard that Santa was here earlier. Yeah, he you was. He what stopped the? by. You were a little late. I've getting missed here. him like five times. I know you missed him. I hope at he doesn't breakfast. miss my house. Yeah. I mean, my wife will be you, very disappointed. He yeah. he. You missed him at breakfast at the chamber breakfast the right. other morning, and uh, we. I have not laughed so hard at a chamber breakfast. Um, <laughs> you know, he had a he's like the number one day. guy, isn't he? I mean, he's yeah, when it he, comes yeah. to delivering packages right. and giving, he is it, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, really you would never choose another guy. He's the top professional. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Most so, definitely. I mean, we talk he, about a captain of industry. I mean, you, you hear about people. <laughs> you hear about people wanting to do real estate without yeah. using a top guy. Right. You know that, like, a, they want to use an unlicensed person. Yeah. They want to do it on their own. And, you know, years ago, you know, that was a that was an okay deal. Now. If you don't use a licensed person for representation, even on the buyer side, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of buyers think I can go in and save the commission and, 
and the seller's not going to give up the commission just because they don't have representation. Buyers don't pay any of the commissions. Right. And if you go in there and do a legal document, let's say you're doing a five hundred thousand home like five hundred thousand dollar home like we mentioned earlier, I can't imagine buying an asset and or selling an asset for a half a million dollars mm -hmm. and not using a licensed person to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you get somebody that crosses the T wrong or dots the I in the wrong place, boy, people get sued mm -hmm. and, yep. and things There's go There's so awry. many little so, nuances that, that you may not be aware of. Right. And, and even though you are a very highly intelligent, very competent individual, if, if it's not your area of expertise um walking into something with a great deal of legal and, and professional knowledge mm -hmm. can still leave you um, in a position of disadvantage uh, in in a transaction like that and and um you know real estate agents go through a lot of training i've been um, fortunate i you know i have keller williams behind me mm -hmm. hundred and ten thousand agents now we're the green bay packers of, <laughs> of real estate <laughs> brokerage because we're privately held 47 mm -hmm. percent of our profits go right back to the agents. And just mm -hmm. in my market center alone in the Woodlands, we're over $500,000 this year in profit sharing back to the agents. Wow. Isn't that amazing? We have like, that's awesome. you know, we have like uh, 458, so that's over $1,000 mm -hmm. a piece. You know, mm -hmm. mine's a little bit bigger, but um, it's it's a pretty good deal, mm -hmm. you know. We're, I'm, I'm just so happy. I've been doing this for 10 years. You know, we have the moving truck that a lot of the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. people use. I was going to say, that's what I was going to say. You you have that ability to, to uh, that's one thing that we appreciate about Vinny is that he he's not in it all about making mm -hmm. all the money. Vinny gives back. Vinny is very uh, present mm -hmm. well, all the, in, all the guests in the community. Said that. Hey, all the um, guests said that today. Katie just got through saying, you know, they give a lot back to the community. And, mm -hmm. and that's really, that's the great network that we have at the magnolia right. parkway chamber of commerce absolutely those people are very giving people and I'm, I'm just so happy to be involved with all of you of course i've joined four or five times over the last 10 years because i stopped coming and then i forget to pay the dues and I, <laughs> <laughs> so the last three years i've been kind of wrangled in you know and you got kelly Heyman, I mean, kelly hammond and I mean, she she just she's awesome. She we is. love Kelly. She's got the spirit. Yeah, our she, board yeah. president she's, harpoon. She's, she's, <laughs> yes, yeah, she's a she's, gentle she's, nudging, gentle yes, nudging. Yes. So. Uh, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. we're very very fortunate. So, well, we're really happy yeah. that you came today. We always get great information um, when you're here. And um, if anybody needs to get in touch with you, how can they do that? TeamSinisi.com. T e a m s i n isi it's an easy name to spell also <laughs> team team sinisi real estate uh, dot com team sinisi dot com and then our office number is 281-863-9143 so that's 281-863-9143 call before midnight oh sorry <laughs> got off on my infomercial there <laughs> <laughs> wonderful thank well, you so much merry christmas to you guys absolutely merry christmas, merry christmas to, you. to you and merry christmas to everybody listening yes yes absolutely we we're really happy that you joined us yes. today we hope you've gotten some great information you hope that you enjoyed being with us right. we are here the fourth thursday of every month at 11 o'clock uh live yes and uh, we want to invite you to our first uh, chamber function of the new year which will be our uh, chamber breakfast at uh, networking breakfast at eden cafe on tuesday january check the second check the website tuesday. second tuesday <laughs> check the website www.magnoliaparkwaycc.com merry christmas merry christmas <laughs>